Hi everyone, welcome back to Aether Plays Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Uh, today we're doing a interesting sort of scenario where we are a sailor um, on a um, aircraft carrier, I believe, like off the coast of North Korea. Let's go ahead and read the little uh, blurb off to the side. You have learned a new style brawling. For some reason, your mission off the coast of North Korea was ended in the middle of a lake in an unknown location. You have no idea what's happened, but now you have more important things to worry about. Okay, so if we take a look at our character, um, our hands are, our left hand is very encumbered. Interesting. Um, we seem to have quite a few skills, like namely melee, bashing, marksmanship, survival, athletics, healthcare, mechanics, and vehicles. So yeah, I believe we are like a, a mechanic. And that makes total sense because of our proficiencies. So we know uh, about pneumatics, principles of metalworking, principles of welding, simple engines, and skilled welding. Okay, awesome. And yeah, we we have a bunch of negative traits. Addictive personality, albino. You lack skin pigmentation due to a genetic problem. You sunburn extremely easily and typically use an umbrella and sunglasses when going out in the sun. Interesting. Animal discord, most animals don't like you, and aggressive animals are more likely to attack you. This only applies to natural animals such as woodland creatures. Okay, um, that's a pretty easy one to have then, <laughs> considering we're just in the middle of a lake. And then finally, bad temper, things just keep getting you down. You tend to be unhappy and it takes some doing to cheer you up. So if we take a look, yeah, we're bad tempered, so we always have minus 10 morale. So I think that... Um, one, it affects our focus, right? But two, I think it might actually slow us down if we're unhappy for too long. So our current speed will be, is 100, but I think it might go down to say like 99 or maybe even lower. It's not a huge deal, but you know, like in the long run, it does have some like long-term effects, right? So if we look at our map, holy cow, this is huge. And it seems like the uh, the tile set was changed once again. It's sort of funny how frequently it's changing. Yeah, so we're on an aircraft carrier, which means that there might be, um, right, like aircraft, which would be awesome. Um, I've never like flown an aircraft in this game, but it seems very cool. Okay, so immediately we we no brawling, so we'll go ahead and switch to that. Um, we have a large adjustable wrench which does 16 bash damage. That already seems pretty good. Um, army pants. We have a tool belt with a hacksaw. Okay, so we can like dig through rebar. We have a telescoping umbrella. Okay, interesting. And is that what is um, encumbering us, I guess? Our left hand. Hmm. Let's take off the umbrella. Your welding cart sank. Excuse me? What do you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, huh? Okay, well that was weird. That's a weird message. Okay, so we're pretty chilly, right? Like we're right on the precipice of being just like extremely cold and starting to take damage. Um, fortunately, you know, like we aren't extremely cold, but and our feet are slowed. We have a combat blouse, hmm. flame resistant socks. So this has encumbrance. It gives us some warmth, but let's take them off. I think they're slowing us down. Yeah, so our base move cost is now 100. Um, it, as you notice, I like this version is not providing the breakdown or like the mod that I wrote or whatever, right? That like shows where the encumbrance is coming from. Um, that's because, right, if you're following the new computer saga, um, you know, Microsoft decided to disable Windows for me in a, in a vain attempt to um, fix that. I tried to reinstall Windows, but that just cause all sorts of problems. So I'm pretty sure just like my Windows installation key is just completely gone. So I'm gonna have to buy a new one. It's very annoying. But yeah. Alright, so I don't even really know like what we need <laughs> with like maybe safety glasses. That sounds pretty good. Our eyes are slightly encumbered. Did we already have some safety glasses? Or did these just have five encumbrance? Okay, they just have five encumbrance. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So yeah, there's like a lot of books and stuff. I guess this is sort of a, um, like a, like a dormitory, I guess. And yeah, because it's like, I reinstalled everything. I need to get my hockeys set up. So let me do that. So yeah, I'm always used to like the old examine where it's like, 
you can either examine or you can grab items. So there we go, we switched it. So now we can examine like that, nice. Heard footsteps from like everywhere. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Footsteps, huh, I wonder what footsteps is. Weird, freaky. I like my inventory on the left side, there we go. And wow, this, that's a lot of first aid, holy cow. Bandage, adhesive bandage, medical gauze, antiseptic, aspirin. We're pretty much set on like medicine, honestly. That's crazy. Now I feel like all we need is like a backpack, pretty much. Heard wumps. Oop. Zombie military pilot. Zombie medic. Holy cow. Um, hmm. Our torso, torso encumbrance is pretty bad. Once a pilot, it is dressed in basic military fatigues, aviator sunglasses, and a sturdy looking helmet. Okay. So we see the, the pilot. It is a bit slower than you. It is slower than you. Okay. So I think let's take care of the uh, pilot first. What's the point of fighting? Ooh, that's bad. So bad morale actually causes us to miss. I didn't realize that. Okay. You fake a strike. Sure. Critical, 29 damage. Nice. Pow. 11 damage. Okay, we're grabbed. Um, I'm pretty sure in like these recent versions of the game, like you basically can't escape a grab at all. Like if you take a look, we have 12 strength, which should be easily be enough to get out of the grab in like a single move. But yeah, like the, the most recent versions just um, do not allow you to like break a grab at all. Like if I were to try, I would probably get bit like eight times or something crazy like that. Okay, so um, we definitely had some trouble taking out the zombie there. We took some damage, but at least uh, we got a handle. Let's go ahead and wait to catch our breath. Nice. And all right, so already we have a combat pistol, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and wear the flight helmet. And so it's got bash, cut, ballistic. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we're already miserable, so honestly, I don't really mind wearing something that's like filthy. There we go. Did we have anything else on our head? Encumbrance is 32 plus 2. We had an 8 point cap. Commonly worn by Marines and sailors, this hat is the standard headwear of both the United States Marine Corps and the Navy. Interesting. All right. Yeah, we'll take that off. Um, it's it's that easy, you know. Like before this, we were a sailor, but now we're a uh, military flight pilot, right? That's all it takes. Okay. Prescription stimulant. Yep. This is a real thing, by the way. Like. Um, military pilots like just have stimulants just straight up because like the last thing you want to do is get tired and like crash your you know billion dollar fighter jet so it's like the prescription stimulants are a small price to pay for you know preserving the value of the equipment essentially okay and then we also have some clean water we'll go ahead and have that nice just a little bit okay um i mean honestly let's just have the prescription stimulant as well why not it like speeds us up a little we're like pretty slow from the pain, but hopefully it's fine. Okay, so we see the zombie. It went diagonally, so we should get a free hit in. There we go. Why is it so slow? <laughs> what is it doing? It's just standing there menacingly. What is it doing? That was so weird. What the heck was that? It like didn't move for like 10 turns or something. Okay. Yeah, this thing is so slow. Our army pants were ripped up already. And our larger adjustable wrench is uh, damaged. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and put pressure on our wound there we go right we have the combat pistol it's good to remember smash the zombie let's see what they have a thermometer okay and a filter mask interesting Ooh, a military id card on the pilot that's pretty good large fire extinguishers safety glasses military mess kit a military mess kit designed for long-range reconnaissance patrols deployed behind enemy lines all of its parts are made from thin sheets of aluminum super alloy composite and are insulated with ceramic coating. Relies on a battery operated hot plate rather than the smoke producing chemical fueled hexamine stove. Compact, durable, and lightweight. So yeah, with it we can heat up food, which is interesting. Okay. Leather belt, army pants. Let's let's just drop like our these pants and wear the new pants. There we go. Upgrade. I guess we can wear the leather belt as well, why not? Oh, never mind. We were we already have a tool belt, so. Yeah, we don't want the extra encumbrance. Molly large rucksack. What's the encumbrance on this? Eight. That's pretty rough. Okay. I don't know if we'll go for that then. We will grab the pocket knife though. Useful. Aha. Even more medicine. Holy cow. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll grab the adhesive bandages. 
just a pocket full of hemostatic powder. It's perfectly um, perfectly safe to do that. It won't get contaminated at all. No way, no how. And then water purification tablets and a tourniquet as well. All right, there we go. Okay, so we haven't really gotten like a better weapon other than the pistol, but it's only got six rounds, so we don't necessarily want to use it right off the bat. Work gloves, the encumbrance is quite high. Let's go ahead and activate the flashlight. Nice. Smartphone? Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's take a closer look at us. Looking very cool. Let's take off our flight helmet, actually. Oh uh, yeah, we're albino. And let's go put on the um, eight-point cap just to see what we look like from up close. That's not what an eight-point cap looks like. Get out of here. <laughs> and it looks like a um, leather bag on the floor. That's sort of funny. Okay. But yeah, we'll just uh, wear our flight helmet again. Hydration pack, safety glasses again. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. Okay. Zombie pilots and zombie technicians we can definitely handle. But um, the zombie mariner, it's not a marine or a soldier, it's a mariner. Still dressed in the ragged remains of deep blue naval fatigues, it's clear that this walking corpse was once a sailor of some description. The U.S. Navy's insignia is embroidered on the sh shredded sleeve and shoulder of its bloody jacket. The dead crewman's battered cap is beaten into the remains of its skull, and its inky black eyes are scanning the area around it as dark ooze drips from its limply hanging maw. Hmm. Our stamina is super low, I just noticed. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, we recovered the stamina. Actually, let me do this. I don't think the sound is getting picked up, so let me save and quit. Do we have sound now? Sort of. It's quiet. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, and then Firefighter Zombie. Interesting. Seems like we're losing stamina, actually. Our mouth isn't encumbered, so I'm not really sure why. Is it something from our traits? Doesn't really seem like it. Strange. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> we got grabbed right off the bat. What the heck is this? Feral Crewman? Still dressed in the grease battered uniform, the screwman appears to have once been a naval engineer with tangled hair, oil staining, stained working attire, and a lug wrench clenched in their fist. You assume that they were either assigned to shipside maintenance or responsible for servicing onboard aircraft. Now all that's left of the crewman that this person once was is a madly twitching psychopathic monster. Great. Well, that was uh, unfortunate. <laughs> I don't really know what we could have done there. I mean, I guess we could have gotten our pistol out, but... <clears throat> yeah, it didn't really seem like the pistol was necessary until the um, the Pharaoh crewman opened the door. Right, and then at that point we were already like surrounded, so it would have been too late. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and try again. We know a little bit more about like how to survive, I guess. Okay. Our welded cart sank again, of course. Triple berth. Three persons at once? Holy cow. Perfect solution for places with lack of free space. I think that means it's like stack three high, right? Presumably. Okay, there we go. It got onto the bed. Nice. And it's went on the bed again. Heck yeah. I like whoever has this uh, shark plush. Great taste. You swing wildly and miss. Okay. Yeah, the pilot seems to be very slow. It's just like breaking down the locker for some reason. That was weird. So yeah, we just keep backing up and like smacking it. Oh, end of the road. Okay, we ended up taking one one hit after all. There we go. And yeah, the uh, sounds are fixed. We can hear the annoying um, <laughs> heartbeat and stuff like that. Okay, so we have literally uh, one bullet. A gun with one bullet this time. Very horrible. Okay, no stimulants either. Very disappointing. We do have a matchbox, and then a light disposable battery, at least. Ooh, okay. Three bandages, though. Six medical gauze, adhesives, antiseptic, yes, aspirin. Holy cow. Let's have an aspirin right now, just because we're in pain. Nine bandages. Okay, well, there's definitely a lot more medical supplies, that's for sure. Two bandages, hemostatic powder, water purification tablets, tourniquet. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a bandage on our left leg as well. Or not a bandage, a um, adhesive bandage. Nice. Yeah, so it's got flame resistant stuff, but it doesn't have the uh, helmet we picked up last time, which is unfortunate. 
Kevlar Nape Protector. A custom made Kevlar strengthened nape protector intended to be attached on a hard hat or helmet to protect your nape from against cuts and slashing attack. Hmm. I mean, it's got like decent ish protection, I guess. And it's only got one encumbrance, so yeah, let's wear it, I guess. Oh, can't be worn directly. Alright, we'll just grab it then. A crash axe and a fire axe and so much first aid stuff. Holy cow. Let's label it first aid. Very epic uh, city name. But yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab the fire axe. All right, let's, let's see. 17 bash and 34 cut. That's insane. I feel like we just won <laughs> off that like one item alone. That's insane. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we'll turn off the on the flashlight. There we go. All of this stuff is like poor fit. Pretty another flashlight. Yeah. So so not a whole lot. Um. There is a smartphone. We'll grab so we know what time it is. Okay. Even more dorm rooms, interesting. I don't really feel like uh, going through them all. Not at the moment. Not when we have the uh, fire axe. Ooh, zombie marine, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, I sort of wonder how tough these marines are. That's a lot. Let's do this, let's run back. And then we'll turn off the uh, the flashlight, right? So then we'll, we'll go around. Feral crewman jump scare. It just like opened the door and ran at us. Um, okay, well at least we can get revenge, right? <clears throat> yeah, so the, the description seems to be different for this one actually. I believe the old one talked about the fact that they were a psychopath, but this one is clad in a grimy and tattered naval uniform. This fo former so sailor clutches a massive wrench at some form of makeshift weapon. Okay, so this is basically what we were doing like five minutes ago. At a distance, you could mistake them as another survivor. However, upon closer inspection, you make note of how their veins are visibly bulging. Their wide open eyes have a primal animalistic quality to their gaze, and their breaths come in ragged, wheezing pants. Whatever the cataclysm has done in the military crewmen that this twitching show of their former self once was, you're certain that they're not fully human anymore. Okay, I wonder if we could have been friends if we didn't have uh, Animal Discord, right? It says that they have uh, animalistic quality to their gaze, so yeah, due to nature, we can't be friends. 47 damage. That's insane. We just killed it in two hits? What the heck? You swing wildly and miss. 36 damage. 39. What the heck? And we kill it. Yeah, what the heck? This weapon is so good. This fire axe. What the heck? Aha. Another handgun. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the uh, the ammo. There we go. And um, yeah, nice. There's there's a uh, flight helmet, so we can go ahead and grab that. What is the, um, the 114 out of 150? What does that mean? Turns into military flight helmet on. What does that do? <laughs> okay, well, let's turn it on, I guess. You turn the flight helmet on. Okay. You're deafened. I see. So it's like noise canceling, I guess, for when the pilot takes off. Uh, fair enough. Okay. And yeah, the, uh, the feral crewman um, had a wrench just like we did. All right. And yeah, it seems like they spilled out of here. So we'll go ahead and turn the flashlight on. Windbreaker, duct tape, medium disposable battery. Okay, okay. More batteries, more flashlights. Uh, doesn't really seem like there's anything super useful though. We'll continue on. <clears throat> really what we need is like water and food. Oh yeah, and let's go ahead and reload our handgun there. Nice. Okay. So here we finally um, find a zombie mariner face to face. Let's go ahead and try to take them out. 46 damage. It struggles to stand. It's downed. Okay. What the heck? This axe is just like actually insane. Holy cow. So it had army pants, eight point cap, flame resistant socks, tool belt. Okay, so it wasn't like armored at all, basically. That's just a bunch of showers. Okay, not useful. What about over here? Ooh, cotton balls. Okay. Actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's apply the cotton balls because that's better than the uh, bandage. Just like crazy amounts of machinery. Okay, just a bunch of stuff. Uh -huh. A firefighter zombie. Interesting. We swing wildly and miss. Okay. And again. And again, <laughs> okay. And again, we missed so many times, what the heck? 42 damage. Downed, bleeding, and grabbing, okay. It bites our torso. 
Okay, we sliced the firefighter zombie. What is it doing? Is it just bleeding? Is it just standing there? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, it seems like they just don't move for some reason. It's very strange. Halligan Bar. 42 Bash? What? What are these insane weapons that we're finding? Brutal Strike, Sweep Attack, Block, holy cow. Four Prying. This is crazy, man. What, I, what, what does this mean? Fire Axe Halligan Bar. How is it inside the Fire Axe? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Base moves per attack 226. Okay, and if we drop the Halligan Bar, base moves is down to 139. Okay, well, well then why the heck would we like put the Halligan Bar into the Fire Axe? It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, an M11. Compact, semi-automatic, short recoil operated pistol. Also known as the P228. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab the uh, the bullets at least. There we go. Incredibly, like, I'm pretty sure, like, for once, our best weapon is not, in fact, the gun. But it is, like, the, um, the fire axe. Okay, let's continue on. Even more first aid. Crazy. I guess we'll just, uh, put another bandage on our torso. There we go. This, this might be, like, the slowest zombie in existence. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't move. Like, look at this. We just waited, like... 10 turns or something insane. It's just bleeding. Okay, it finally moved. It's like, oh, the zombie bites our torso. Okay, well, that's what I get for insulting it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, right now there's nothing that's like torso armor, which is unfortunate. Oh, we opened the door and there's a uh, zombie officer. Dressed in the shredded blue dress uniform of a naval officer, this undead corpse was evidently a higher ranking crew member in life. Having more than likely not been clad in body armor, the result now staggers before you. Horrific wounds exposed in the air and large portions of flesh and muscle ripped from its glistening skeleton. Holy cow. Okay. It grabs us. And it claws at us like a bunch. <clears throat> not great. It's continued to wield the fire axe, I guess. Military ID card. Even more bullets. Okay. So, another fire axe. Wow. So these are like super easy to find, I guess. Let's go ahead and... I guess put a bandage on our torso and then how about like one more honestly we have so many bandages like why not and even on our left leg there we go nice a jumpsuit a sun shield can't be worn directly how much pain are we in five percent eh, that's fine that's not a big deal are, is our hand still encumbered actually yeah it is okay let's take off the umbrella i forgot about that telescoping umbrella collapse there we go Ooh, feral crewman Okay, yeah, let's uh, wait for them to come to us. Okay, we miss. 45 damage, holy cow. 52 damage, 47 damage. You sweep, so it's downed, okay. Decimate, 10 monsters killed. Okay, excellent. Smash that, smash that. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like they have much of anything. Yeah, we'll keep going. Concrete mixer, flashlight. Yeah, this one has a good battery, we'll grab that. Aha. A military pilot and a mariner. Okay, so neither neither of these guys are armored, so I'm not like particularly concerned. So we sweep, which means they're down. So we, we take them out. There we go. 59 damage. Holy cow. We sweep them again. They struggle to stand. Hmm. It manages to uh, grab and bite us all in the same turn. Okay. There we go. We take them out. How's our um, torso doing? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> um, right. The feral crewman. It like spotted us and then opened the door, which isn't great. It's gotta be said. Yeah, let's uh, run back. Slash for 41 damage. Okay. And we kill it. Okay, nice. All right, let's hide in here, I guess. There we go, we, we caught our breath, nice. A lighter, sure. I very much doubt we can like burn anything down considering like pretty much everything in the ship seems to be metal, but still. There we go. Um, Actually, let's grab like another magazine, right? And then we can, um start working on like reloading the next magazine that was super weird okay <laughs> so look at this i like reload the handgun right and then the tiny little bit of like volume i guess of like the reloaded handgun made it so that it no longer fit in our inventory so we dropped it that's bizarre <laughs> never in a million years did i expect that to happen okay so yeah we reload our magazines there we go Honestly, I feel like a handgun should be able to like go into your boots or something. Practical guide to guns and shooting handgun edition. Let's try to find a backpack, I guess. Two crash axes, a fire axe, holy cow. 
Ifact pouch. This is crazy. With the Halligan bar, I wonder if we can open this closed metal door. That'd be interesting. Hydration pack. Can contain a liquid. Yeah, I think that means that like it can't hold anything other than a liquid. Combat knife. Let's uh, grab the Halligan bar and drag it over, right? And then let's see if we can uh, pry open this door with it. So we'll go ahead and um, grab the Halligan bar, activate Halligan bar, dig pit, dig water channel, fill pit, upturn earth, pry crate, window, door, or nails. Okay, so that actually did work. Holy cow. So we were able to pry open the uh, metal door. What the heck? But yeah, we still really, really desperately need like um, a backpack so we don't have to keep on like shoveling our shuffling our inventory around like this. Sweep the zombie for 50. Okay, and then we kill it. Nice. Come on, backpack. No backpack. Unfortunate. Okay. Our torso's at three. Holy cow. Let's put some antiseptic on it and a bandage. The issue is like we can't really heal up at all because we don't have any water. A jackhammer. Welding goggles. Uh, hello, zombie marine. It seems to be like keeping up with us somehow. Okay, there we go. We miss. And the marine misses. Okay, 12 damage is pretty bad. 10 damage. What is happening? Why are we like doing so little damage? Weird. 19 damage. What happened to like the 54 damage or whatever? Oh, it's a zombie marine. It's not a zombie mariner. Well, that's weird, <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. Like, could you like call it like something else? Okay, there we go. We killed the uh, zombie marine. What the heck? Zombie marine, zombie mariner. They just like made it purposely confusing. That's garbage. Okay. Well, anyway, um, let's see. So there's a hydration pack. Aha. So there's clean water. Excellent. We see a zombie marine. A zombie officer, a zombie marine. Okay. Yeah, we'll close that for now. Acetylene torch. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Aha. Yeah, it has a ballistic vest. Uh, we'll like absolutely wear that. Heck yeah. And an assault pack. Okay, okay. Things are happening. How good are the knee pads? I mean, they have zero encumbrance, so it literally doesn't matter. Like, we'll always wear them, I guess. Nice. Okay, well, this is great. Um. So yeah, now we'll grab the Halligan bar. Right, like, hopefully it doesn't go... Stop putting the Halligan bar in the fire axe. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Inventory, fire axe, pocket settings, toggle auto pickup. Items won't be inserted into this pocket. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so let's um unload, right, the Halligan bar. There we go. So yeah, because like it just like slows down the attack so much if we um keep stuff in there. Okay, so yeah, we grab the uh, handgun, there we go. Right, the acetylene torch, okay. So we catch our breath, aha. Uh -huh. Zombie marine, okay, very important difference, not the mariner. So we sweep it onto its feet, okay. It climbs to its feet and moves, which is sort of weird. 14 damage. It misses us. It hits us. <laughs> it hits us again. At least we have the uh, torso armor, it's got to be said. Okay, there we go. We took it out. So much blood, like, absolutely everywhere. There we go. Smash that. Like, so much blood. Look at this. It's just like a pure red. What the heck? Um, clean water. Okay. One clean water. Yeah, let's have the cookie, the fruit. The entree, the cracker, the peanut butter spread. Okay. And then we'll also have the clean water. And now let's see if we can just sort of like bandage up and then we'll heal up. Use some antiseptic. There we go. Um, do we need a bandage or head? No. We were wearing the helmet, so it's nice and good. Okay, there we go. Um, our speed is 89. I guess we're unhappy. Oh, very filthy gear. Okay. Yeah, we'll drop off the filthy gear as we like recover there we go we'll turn off the flashlight and then let's just wait for like let's just try sleeping i guess and we'll just wait until we wake up like this is super slow actually <laughs> right it's like well it's not super slow but yeah it'll just take us a while to recover we're hearing a bunch of shuffling yeah i, I could not sleep with all this noise are you kidding me we're in minimal pain okay there we go like we recovered a little bit i think and like one more hour maybe holy cow <laughs> so many like little icons what the heck all right there we go confirm trying to fall asleep nice so yeah our torso got healed up from three to four our speed is now 98 right like we're barely in pain anymore so yeah nice military flight helmet knee pads ballistic vest assault pack nice excellent 
and we'll turn on the uh, flashlight again. I don't even think we need this telescoping umbrella, honestly, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, let's have some more food. We're hungry. Neko wafers. I guess we ate like literally everything. Ooh, zombie officer. Okay. It like grabs us. Oh, that's bad. I mean, we took it out like easily enough, I guess, but still not great. So we killed the zombie marine, the zombie officer. Okay. Rather than like get away from the zombie technician, we'll just fight it up close, right? Because it can um, basically like grab our gun, our fire axe away, which would be terrible. Okay, there we go. Yeah, took care of it. And we'll shift it out of the way so we can close the door, so we can uh, get our breath back. Feral crewman spotted. Okay, well, so much for getting our breath back. It hits. It tries to hit us in the head. Okay, and then but we're protected by our helmet, and then we take it out. Nice. So yeah. There we go, we got our breath back, nice. Military ID, nice. Um, even more bullets for our gun, excellent. And then here, oh yeah, here's some food, heck yeah. Clean water, nice, we're turgid. And then, yeah, cookie, chocolate, dehydrated fruit, ratatouille, okay, nice. I'm very glad that ratatouille doesn't give negative joy. I would take great offense to that if it did. Okay, so we're turgid, we're full, there we go. And what was on the technician? Eh, nothing much. Okay. Oh, you can walk on this. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Huh. And what is this over here? Just like a weird amount of stuff. Okay. Interesting. Military mess kit. A duffel bag. Okay. That's like a serious looking duffel bag. That's for sure. Bandages. Five hemostatic powder. Holy cow. Nice. I think we might need like a few more bandages. Let's take a look. Average, average. Porta average. Average, average. Okay, yeah. We could use with uh, a few more. There we go. We're hot. Our torso's hot. Let's go ahead and take off something then. Hmm. I mean, having said that, right, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what we can take off. We'll, ju we'll just keep everything. It's fine. Work pants. Okay. Steel toed sneakers. Hmm. I think those have more encumbrance than the combat boots we're wearing. I'm pretty sure we're wearing combat boots. Pair of boots. Okay. So it's not a combat boot. Yeah, it's so weird being able to just, like, walk on the, all this machinery. What the heck? A reciprocating saw. Another flashlight. Hmm. Yeah, we'll grab the battery, at least. <clears throat> and it's interesting that, like, this door was locked, right? Like, it doesn't lead anywhere. Bathrooms. Okay. Um, yeah, let's use our Halligan bar. That did not work. Oh. <laughs> it just led to another bathroom. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. And I guess we were down here as well. How long does it take to pry? Let's see, so right now it's 147. Oh, literally like a minute. Okay, that's not so bad. A zombie marine. Okay, a zombie technician. Interesting. Hmm. Can we just like not go in there? What a, what a weird thing. Right, the jackhammer. Okay, yeah, we'll just continue to explore around. I'm, I'm really not sure like what this is all supposed to be. Just like electronic machinery and stuff. It's just strange. EMF detector. Okay, light disposable battery. Nice. Solder. Safety glasses, antenna, okay. Ooh, what is all this stuff? Bearings, bearings, bearings. They're just, this guy's, the firefighter zombie is being like an absolute menace. A zombie mariner, okay, not a zombie marine. Very important distinction. We're grabbed, okay. The one good thing about fighting the um, zombie marines is they don't really seem to be able to grab you, which is nice. But the nice thing about zombie mariners is I guess they just don't have any like armor so it's much easier to kill them so it's definitely a trade-off yeah i'm very confused by like why there's just a bunch of like um zombies in here when you can't get into there just like sort of freaky a horror novel okay flashlight man how big is this aircraft carrier holy cow we're like still discovering like rooms or whatever um this is fat zombie feral crewman zombie technician we definitely have to fight because, like, the crewman's just gonna open the doors or whatever. We sweep. Our ballistic vest is shattered. Holy cow. Okay, we take it out. Let's, um, move the bruised corpse to the north. Ow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the reason I moved the corpse was, like, so that we could close the door, but I guess, um, yeah, we were too slow. Okay. We took out the zombie technician in two sweeps. Pretty good. And then we took out the fat zombie in three. Nice. And yeah, it feels like there's no real reason to explore the bedroom, so we won't worry about it. And this one had a crash axe. Okay, interesting. 
and you had potato chips. Uh, we'll just grab the potato chips. We don't need to eat them for now. Aha, uh -huh. a random crawling zombie in the machinery. That's the reason why like this aircraft carrier crashed. The source of the outbreak, this one tiny slow crawling zombie. Okay. Yeah, look at this. So, like I, I just passed like, I don't know, like 10 seconds and the zombie's just not moving at all. This is very, very weird. I'm, I'm really not sure what's happening. It seems like the pathfinding is like broken for the zombies or something. The weird like virus that effect, uh, affected like the uh, aircraft carrier just makes, destroy the um, navigational part of the zombies' brains. Six heavy plutonium fuel batteries. Okay. Yeah, I really wouldn't want to be like this, this bed right here. Just like slowly like receiving the radiation from this stuff. Yeah, we still haven't found a way up, right? <laughs> So I'm, I'm really not sure like where, like how to get out of here. Maybe pry this way. Okay. Screwdriver set, sure. Arc welder. A battery powered tool for welding metal pieces together using an electronic arc. It is an indispensable tool for construction or repair. Interesting. Can we use it? Repair? No. Oh. And then what is this? Is this water? It has JPA fuel. <laughs> I like how, oh, I, I, I fought the, um, have a drink was like enabled. Yeah, let's let's have a have a drink of JPA fuel, no problem. Okay, so yeah, just a bunch of JPA fuel. Interesting. Hmm. How do we <laughs> like? Yeah, more JPA fuel. How do we like go upstairs? It's very strange. Zombies. A bestial stalker. What the heck? Lumbering about on all fours, this mutated beast dagger like claws clack against the ground as it predatorily moves. Thick strands of exposed muscle tissue running across its rotting body. The addition of its new bulk has caused the skin along its arms and back to split, and the brute's teeth have extended into spikes of bone. The marines' insignias on the remains of the creature's pulverized gear are the only testament to the soldier that this hulking abomination used to be. Holy cow. It is faster than us. Corporate accounting ledger. Let's just close the door. I don't know. I don't know about all that. Um, having said that, we, I feel like we should try, right? But let's use the uh, handgun, right? So we can maintain a distance at least. So we'll store the fire axe. Ow. Well, that was lame. <laughs> it was just like waiting at the door. But like what I don't understand is like we open the door, right? And then like the zombie moves. And then like how did like... It's meant it's turned moving, right? So how would it get an attack as well? Which is it just seems strange. Yeah, we're like running back. I guess we'll drop the handgun and stop the bleeding. I'm not really sure why it's not following us. Can we like yell? What? Where did it go? <laughs> what? Okay, we'll we'll turn on safe mode and just catch our breath. Okay. Did it go back into its like special hiding place? What the heck? It just really loves this room, I guess. The bestial stalker. Sure, whatever. Let's just start uh, steadying up here. I don't know. Precise shot, sure. Oh, <laughs> we destroyed the, uh, the locker, which is sort of funny. Okay, there we go. We hit it for eight damage. Yikes. Unmanageable pain. Yeah, th this this guy's tough, that's for sure. Let's wield the, uh, the fire axe. So it only did eight damage on a handgun that does like 26, right? Unmanageable pain is not great. I feel like we got to take it out, though. Right, let's just wait like five minutes. Wait for it to like go back to its corner or whatever. Okay, well yeah, that time we opened the door and it didn't attack us. Weird. Okay, now let's uh, try using the fire axe. Yeah, here we go, 21 damage, nice. What, is, what the heck is that? <laughs> it like moves and attacks at the same turn. Holy cow. The bestial stalker takes a swing at you, but it's blunted by your armor. Your combat bounce is ripped. Bandages on your left arm were destroyed. You're staggered off balance. You are knocked to the floor for 56 damage. As you hit the ground, something comes loose and is knocked away from you. What the heck? Yikes. <laughs> okay. Well, that was not great. A zombie marine. That's also not great. We're in severe pain. We don't really have anywhere to back up either, which is horrible. And we see six, four zombies. Huh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. What was knocked loose from us? Let's, um... We'll go here, I guess. Right, so then that way we only fight one zombie at a time. The feral crewmen, I'm not super concerned about. I mean, like, the the, um, the zombie marines, I'm definitely concerned about. But I think what will happen is, like, we'll... Let's... We might try to take care of the marine, 
and the two crewmen and then we'll try to um close the door right like and hide in the jp8 room that might be our best strategy i don't think we have time to um stop our leg from bleeding which is unfortunate 17 damage 14 29 so far we haven't actually uh taken any damage because we blocked the damage with our fire axe and also it keeps t hitting our torso right but we have like our ballistic vest which is only full of like <laughs> compromised plates at this point but yeah there we go we kill the marine yikes zombie mariner okay marine military pilot holy cow we're grabbed okay we killed the mariner right but now there's a zombie marine here okay our right leg has like a very deep bite wound holy cow man we should not have like messed with the bestial whatever holy cow zombie marine hmm. our stamina is going down but i think we might be able to kill these three right if we just run back i don't think that will do anything really then again let's try it i don't know oh it blocked the door that's so bad <laughs> holy cow Look at this, our left arm, our right leg, our right arm, our left leg, our torso. The only thing okay is our head and our torso, holy cow. We dropped the um, fire axe as this thing hits our arm. We can't wield the uh, handgun. Yikes. Um, well, what can't we wield, I guess? I guess the tool is right. Those are the only things that have like bash pretty much. The screwdriver, maybe. It has minus one to melee. Whereas the two-way radio is um six bash. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the best is 0 0.9. <laughs> okay, this is horrible. How about the screwdriver? 1.18. Okay. Yeah, let's wield the screwdriver. Unless there's something here that we can wield, maybe. We can't wield the handgun or the flight helmet or like anything else really. The tool belt. All right, yeah, I think it has to be the screwdriver. We hit it for four damage. Okay. Five damage. Come on, <laughs> three damage. <laughs> it's bleeding. Our left arm is, like, so screwed. We drop our screwdriver. No, come on. We were so close. We were so close. No. That sucks, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it's over. We can't, uh, we, we can't kill it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're down. <laughs> it just keeps on attacking us. We can't regain our um, stamina, really, at all. No, we regained a little bit, I guess. We're comfortable. <laughs> we're in severe pain. It keeps on trying to hit us, but we, we remain alive, sort of. It keeps missing us. Is it bleeding out? Oh, it's so close to death! No! No! Can we try to attack? Okay, well, let's regain some stamina. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, like, once we regain the stamina, it'll be fine. We, we're getting hit so many times, but it's just, like, I don't know. <laughs> we're surviving, sort of. Oh, no, a zombie came back. Uh, it's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Holy cow, it's taking us so long to die. What the heck? No. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I think we killed it. Did we? Oh no, I see. Another zombie just took its place. Okay, well. GG, I guess. <laughs> Holy cow. It's sort of insane by like how long <laughs> it's taking us to die. We're like the ultimate take. Holy cow. Hmm. This is just brutal. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? We just got hit like a billion times. Okay, well, there we go. We're dead. So yeah, that's what we get for trying to um, <laughs> tackle like that super hard zombie. Um, hmm. That was pretty fun though. That was pretty fun. I think we'll try this one again. I'm definitely uh, intrigued. You know, we weren't able to get out of the bowels of the ship. I think it'll be interesting to get up onto the uh, poop deck or whatever, and then like just um, you know explore the top side of the uh, the base. So yeah. Um, until next time. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, bye.